Back here on the court with head coach Quincy Simpson. What's the feeling when you when you see it fall? Oh man, amazing. But I've seen that many times. Uh, I've been the guy that started him with this. Uh, I've seen him make some big time shots and some big time moments. This is another one. Uh, obviously the best kid in the state, no question. Uh, he demonstrated that today with his IQ and, and being able to finish the game without having a great shoot night, but being able to want the ball in that situation and uh, make the shot. You think he deserves a moment like this, right? After all the hard work he's put in, you've been there from the beginning. There's not a, there's not a kid in this state, name any kids in this country that works like he does. 5.30 in the morning, three, four days a week, uh, 10 o'clock at night, three, four days a week, along with our practices. He works hard. Uh, he's really hard on himself when he misses shots. Um, but to do it, you know, against these guys, it's bittersweet. Because, you know, I got two guy sons over there. And, and, you know, so, but for him to do it in this magnitude, after leading this state, after leading this team, helping leading this team to a state title, uh, doing some tremendous things for this school. Um, he loves LCC, and uh, LCC, you know, showed him a lot of love back, but the ball was going to be in his hands one way or another. Just want to go back to the beginning of the fourth quarter because it felt like the T-Birds had a lot of the momentum, but then you guys started to gain it back. How'd you do it? Well, at the end of the third quarter, I just told these guys, you know, this game has nothing to do with one of our goals, a track championship, but this game can also help us conquer one of our other goals, which is being in Columbus. We got to win games like this. We're not going to beat teams by 20 and 30 and 40 points every night. On top of that, we're missing our number two score. You know, that plays a part on how X gets his points. Uh, so, again, it's, it's a, a high energy atmosphere. Um, who else would want that shot besides him? Uh, I'm just proud as a father first and proud as a coach second. Last question for you. Great atmosphere all night long. What does it say about basketball in, in Lima? Well, I think it says that basketball in Lima is, you know, what it always been. We have a lot of a lot of kids in this area that can flat out play. Um, you know, this is probably one of the biggest games I've been around from a coaching perspective and as a player. Um, there's a lot of talent here. You know, I took this job at Lyman Senior with the understanding that I would try to help kids get to the next level, which is the collegiate level, um, and we're on track doing that. So, you know, again, this is probably won't see a game like this of this magnitude for who knows how long, but. I'm sure the LCC fans, along with the Lyman Senior fans, enjoyed every second of it. Well, congrats, Coach. Thank you so much for your time. Lyman Senior gets the 54-52 win on Xavier Simpson's buzzer beater. Back to you upstairs, Mark.